Hello and welcome, with a lot of players on Xbox coming into Endgame already, I think it's a good time to go over, very quickly and briefly, the typical Endgame gear progression. There is a path of progression that's kind of recommended in terms of ease of farming, and you can get some nice upgrades and kind of tear up all the way into the end of Endgame. So to start with, if you're coming into Massacre and you're looking to farm some gear, as with any tier of difficulty, start with the Ancient Mines, it's a nice easy run. Survival is even faster now, so you can bang out some quick runs here. Start pushing in as high as you can. You'll maybe wipe eventually. Maybe you'll beat it the first time. Either way, you'll get a ton of upgrades. I would recommend staying here until you're at about 4,000 for your main stat. If you're not sure about main stats or stat priority for end game content, I do have a video for that. I'll leave a card in the corner. And I also have a build video for this map as well as all of the other maps. I'll have a playlist linked for that as well. But start with the Ancient Mines. From there, move on to either Alk Labs or Magus Quarters. I say either or because they're both easy runs. Alk Labs is a bit longer of a run, and of course there's a boss fight at the end, which means you'll get a random Act 1 pet, but no giraffe. If you're looking for better giraffes, Magus Quarters is the move. So either of those maps from here, you can jump all the way up to Act 3 and get into Royal Gardens. There are a lot of easy and good builds for, for the Royal Gardens, one of which involves a striking gemstone in the middle. You blow up an aura stack. It's a great build. All of these builds are going to be best served with a boost mug and a speedy gemstone. I have a full breakdown on how to gear out and uh, stat up and play a boost monk. I'll leave a card for that here if you're interested. But here's the thing. Since Rifted came out and uh, Massacre Survival has been around for a while, Promenade got a DU buff up to 125 from 110. So it is another viable option for Massacre Survival progression. So either Royal Gardens or Promenade are the move. Then move it on to Glitter. You can hang out here until 8K plus main stats. For the boss maps specifically, if you want to have an easy time with the boss maps, I would say have 5k main stats for Alk Labs. That'll be a nice run. And you could also do a Throne Room around 6,000 main stats. It's doable. I'd say Throne Room is pretty rough compared to Alk Labs. Summit is possible at 7k, but if you want to have a more comfy run and have some wiggle room there, a bit more of a margin of error, I would say 8k is a more comfortable run. Summit is really about knowing the map, having good movement, and having sort of knowledge of game mechanics a little more than raw stats, but having more stats is gonna be better. All right, that'll do it for this one. Any questions, as always, leave them in the comments section, and thanks so much for watching.